So I want to talk about tree wells and berms. This well we dug out today is about a year old because foot traffic, meaning people walking on top of the berms, was eroding them and pushing the soil down into the well. This well, eight hours ago, looked like this. If I were to water this tree, you could see there's nothing here. There's nothing here to hold water. And I want to make sure that my trees get a good deep water, large volume of water to get good root establishment. Can't do it with this. This is silly. I can do it with this. That well, I'm guessing, will hold a good at least 150 gallons of water. That's what I want. When it drains, I'm going to hit it a second time. At least the first couple summers until this tree gets established. You are going to have to extend your berms out occasionally to accommodate the growth of the tree. It's best if you have the berms out at least a foot past the drip line, which right now we're at the drip line. But because this is a nursery, there's high traffic, I need to save room for carts and people. So I can't come out as far as I would like, but I'm doing what I can. Inside this well, I just put down a little bit of mulch, a couple bags of compost. I did have to pull everything back, like I said, because the soil from the eroding berms was packing it in and the well wouldn't hold any wa water any longer. So tree well maintenance should be something that you should be keeping up with at least once a year. If the berms are eight to 12 inches, that's really good. Now you've got a plate in which to put down food for the tree. If you don't have a proper well and you're watering just at the base of the tree, you're doing the tree no favors. It is merely existing, it's never gonna grow. Roots will grow where there's water. That's why I hate drip lines. You need a nice wide water pattern. And then you wanna get that water two, three, four, five foot depth depending on the size of the tree. So that's my rant for the day. If you have any questions, please ask in our Facebook group, Living the Green Life, or on our Instagram page, Seamus underscore O'Leary underscore. Our website is greenlifebyshamusoleary.com. Hopefully this was helpful to you. Have a good evening.